Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are checking out the Chevy Spark EV. Now first we're going to start things off talking about visibility. Looking out the front, the dash kind of comes up a little bit, so the front window is a bit narrow and kind of far away. The sides, however, are very large, so you've got plenty of visibility looking to your left or your right. Checking your blind spot is fine. And looking out the rear, the car is very small, so overall visibility is okay. It's just the front, which is a little bit far away and raised up a bit, that makes the visibility slightly challenging. Now, as far as comfort in here, um, I do have a decent amount of space. That said, my knee is pretty close to the steering column. I'm about 6'1", and it's almost touching it, um, so that's something that, that could become an issue. Uh, to the left and right, though, there's plenty of space. And as far as the functionality of everything in here, simple three-scroll system for the climate control, your basic infotainment system, and plenty of controls on your steering wheel. So overall, looks to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and start it up and go for a test drive. We are in drive, so we've got a display here showing us that we've got 70 miles of range left, what our speed is, and then the power output. Now this vehicle uh, weighs a little over 2,800 pounds and get this 327 pound feet of torque so it's a very torquey motor uh, which is probably going to be exciting to press my foot down in yeah <laughs> it's got some torque it's a fun little thing so you do notice when you let off the accelerator pedal that it does the regen braking automatically so you actually wouldn't even have to touch the brake pedal probably in some instances uh, it does a decent amount of braking for you just by letting off the gas pedal yeah acceleration is very strong especially at the lower end now the power does taper off as you get up into the higher rpms of that electric motor but early on you've got peak torque 327 pound feet 140 horsepower this thing's actually pretty fun pretty nimble the steering actually feels pretty good too uh, and the steering wheel itself leather wrapped has a nice cushion to it feels pretty good you know it is interesting letting uh, your foot off and having the vehicle brake uh, and not having to use the brake so much so when you do get your foot on that pedal the brake pedal uh, it's very stiff um, and it doesn't feel like it has all that much modulation to it it just kind of feels like um, you know it's it's a fairly sensitive brake pedal so it's something that I think over time you probably have to get used to letting your foot off the gas in advance uh, for where you wanted to end up braking to and then just using the brake pedal slightly once you got there <laughs> it can pretty easily spin the tires even at around 20 miles an hour uh, it's having to kick on the traction control so this thing definitely has the torque Yeah, even at 30 miles an hour, you put your foot down, it's going to spin that tire a little bit and use the traction control to help prevent that. So it's cool that they've made, you know, this is a practical little vehicle. It can be had for under $20,000 uh, with the right incentives. And, you know, it's fun. It's actually fun to drive. It's got a lot of power to it and it also has a decent range. So overall, I've actually quite enjoyed driving this.